Okay, so 1 Corinthians chapter 5. So chapter 5 is really all about fornication, idolatry. What's happening here is that there's all these Greek temples all around. And all of the Greek temples are set up for a Greek little g-god. People are still going to the temple. They're worshiping and offering up sacrifices for the little g-gods at the Greek temples, which inside the Greek temples are male and female prostitutes. And so people are still going in the temple and fornicating with prostitutes. And um, so that's just the way, that's the Greeks. That's what they do. And so all of that is still going on. So Paul is addressing, really in 5, 6, and 7, all of the fornication, the idolatry, um, just this excessive um, lavishness. Okay, here we go. Chapter 5, and I'll point out 10 and 11 when we get there. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you, and such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles that one should have his father's wife. So apparently there's some guy with status that's having sex with his stepmom. And you are puffed up and have not rather mourned that he hath done this deed might be taken away from among you. For I verily as absent in body, but present in spirit, have judged already as though I were present concerning him that has done, that has so done this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we are gathered together in my spirit with the power of the Lord Jesus Christ to deliver, to deliver such one unto Satan for destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord. Your glorying is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Purge out therefore the old leaven. So he means your old ways, your customs, your worldview, your values, what you grew up knowing and understanding in that day. Get rid of that leaven. That's old stuff. Christ came to change everything. Now what they're doing here in Corinth, they're saying we're free in Christ. And we can have all the sex we want. We can do anything we want with our bodies because Christ came to free us. You see, that's eisegetical. That's what I mean by eisegetical. They take, they take it around and they make the gospel of Jesus Christ fit their worldview, fit their customs, fit their old ways. So they can continue worshiping little G-gods, going to the temples, fornicating in the temples, having their orgies on the streets. You see what I'm saying? They pervert the word of God when it's very clear, you know, your body is where it houses the Holy Spirit and fornication and idolatry. Those are like the two worst things. You will not get into the kingdom of God through sexual immorality, but that's what's being taught. They're being, they're being taught. It's okay, guys. Christ came to free us through grace. We can do whatever we want with our bodies. No, you cannot do whatever you want with your body. The Holy Spirit dwells in your body and you need to, you, you just can't do what you want. All right, let's read on. <clears throat> Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven. So we, if you even eat with fornicators, we're going to see in verse 10 and 11. If you even spend time, you know, breaking bread at the, at the dinner table with fornicators, that may not work out well for you. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. I wrote unto you in an epistle, not to company with fornicators. Don't company with fornicators. That's why I have to, <laughs> that's why I can't leave my little cave here, right? Yet, here we go. My takeaway for 1 Corinthians 5 is found in verse 10 and 11. Let's read this together. Yet, not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous, or extortioners, which means robbery, or with idolaters, worshiping little g-gods. For then must ye needs go out of the world. But now, I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, covetous, an idolater, a railer, 
or a drunkard or an extortioner with such one no not to eat did you guys know that for what have i what have i to do to judge them also that are without do not you judge them that are within but them that are without god judge therefore put away from you put away from among yourselves that wicked person and all god's people said stay in the word